And welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for Demir Flash, our next best of one deck today for best of one day Monday. So this is kind of like um, a mix between Simic Flash and Mono Blue. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of like that, but we're playing black here for some removal. So green, of course, in the Simic Flash gives you Frilled Mystic and Night Pack Ambush are two awesome, awesome top end cards. We're going to get rid of those and we're going to have some removal to be able to pair with just all of the tempo plays from blue. Um, and that's that's kind of our deck. That's what we got going on here. So Black Lance Paragon is going to be mostly a removal spell. You know, like we're going to be able to flash this in and be a 3-1 um, Death Touch Lifelink Knight, uh, be able to block with it and, you know, basically treat this as a removal spell. Of course, if we need an extra threat, though, you know, it can be just an extra threat to help beat down. Um, Murderous Rider, same kind of thing. It's a removal spell that also turns into a threat. Now, it's not like the best threat because you have to play this Sorcery Speed, the 2 3 Life Linker, and spending three mana Sorcery Speed isn't really the best in this deck, but Swift End is just awesome. And the just the actual Murderous Rider part is just an upside. And then our other black spells is we got a couple Drown in the Lock. So after we counter a couple of things and, and stuff trades, there gets some cards in our opponent's graveyard. Then we can turn Drown the Lock on to be a counter spell or a removal spell. It's like our best late game counter. And Tyrant Scorns. Um, Tyrant Scorn works really well in this deck, not only for just being a removal spell, but also returning our own creatures back to our hand. Um, you know, like bouncing Brazen Borrow or Murderous Rider. Like those could be good cards to bounce back to our hand. Um, to be able to reuse again. Or, of course, save our creatures from removal. If they're using removal on our creatures, we can put them back into our hand. Um, so, yeah, that's that's what we got going on here. We'll kind of see how this mana works, if it works okay. Um, I got one black castle, two blue castles over here. Um, I do have a sideboard if, if, you know, if you want to play this deck in best of three. A bunch of good interaction for different decks. So... There is a sideboard over here if you want to play it in best of three, but we're playing it in best of one. Yeah, it's like, yeah, we're playing, it's kind of like we're playing Simic Flash, but without the overpowered wolf and with some other interaction instead. Just something a little different. <laughs> this deck looks awful. Oh, well, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't play awful. Here we go. We're going to play ranked. We're going to play seven games. Um, the prediction is that we're going to go three and four. That's probably what's going to happen because as you can see, our, our win total is sliding down like all my hopes and dreams. So we should be three and four, but who knows? We'll play the games. Maybe we'll get some wins. And we got Demir Flash. It's a dimmer flash than what you're used to. It's not quite as bright. <laughs> yeah, as the names get smaller, so do the so do the winds. Is dimmer even a word? I don't think dimmer is a word. Why does that thing have hexproof? Hexproof's a pretty fun mechanic. It's an enjoyable one. Hmm. 
Alright, a whole lot of mana over here. Hmm. It's not a bad card. Kinda want counter magic though. They said hello. I'm gonna say hello back. Dimmer is a word. And a way to say that is I'm going to install a dimmer switch. Huh. Had to Google to make sure. But okay, I guess it is a word. Hydrocrasis, of course, is just a really problematic card for counterspell decks, because even if you try to counter it, they still get to draw their three cards. So just hitting a bunch of land drops and having triple mana creature into Hydrocrasis for six on turn four, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. The double castle really helped get that extra mana, too. I guess they only they could only activate they only activated one castle there. Though. So two spells in the graveyard now with Drown in the Lock. I do not want to see any more Hydroid Crisis. For sure. Card doesn't really seem to do very much. All right, you were playing Rakdos Sacrifice. I played a sacrif and sacrificed one Cauldron Familiar and went to the graveyard. I drew two more. It seemed like they went straight to the graveyard. I couldn't play them even though I drew them. No, that doesn't... No, no answers. I don't... That doesn't seem to make much sense. I don't know why that would be like that. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. You should, you should definitely just be able to play them. I guess my opponent has another Hydroid Crisis, unfortunately. The only card I don't want them to, to have. I get to just draw five cards and gain... Uh, they did four. I get to get, draw four cards and gain four life. It's ridiculous.
Playing the sabotage just to use my mana better than than what Scorn does. I, yeah, I used Scorn last time with this card. Um, so I could Scorn, kill the Leafkin Druid. And we'll kind of see if they want to block with Wicked Wolf. Or if they want to take nine. They, they would definitely block with the Leafkin Druid. So I get that damage in, so now this Terramander is lethal. I think this is a game that would already be over if we were on the play. I think we would have already won this. We definitely had a good hand, but so did our opponent. And then being on the play with the double crisis. Oh, stop. Don't want to see Oko, but they have five. This five mana has to be a creature. They could still have. They still have the three mana available that could be like Oko. Hurts, of course. I gotta hope this brazen borrower can get it done. Also, definitely have to be worried about just taking lethal. to have everything. I mean, so all that has to do is just make a food and then I don't have lethal anymore. But I can't survive another turn. The brambles of truth twirl and curl, choking out lies. One bite and all your cares are gone.
Well, would have would have definitely been a win if we were on the play. Would have been a win. But we were not. Nice. 4-1 with Rakdos so far. Good job. This kind of deck that we're playing also is a deck that <laughs> is a lot better on the play than on the draw. So, of course, we're going to be on the draw again. These these flash decks, just in general, much better on on the play. So my mana is kind of rough. If I if I play turn one Terramander, I cannot have turn two Quench. Uh, no, I wouldn't, no, in best of, 70% of the decks in best of one are, like, saying that 70% of the decks are green for best of one is not, is not accurate. There's a lot more blue and red. Um, you know, usually different decks, not like blue and red, but there's a lot more blue decks and a lot more red decks. In best of one. But we have good interaction. I don't I don't think we necessarily need Noxious Grasp. I'm still kind of skeptical about Drowned in the Lock. I wanted to try it out here, but I'm kind of skeptical of it because this is it's like a counter spell that's not good early at all. We have to try to get more cards in their graveyard. I'm glad they have Fable Passage. Hey, Gatsby, good evening. So that's the third card in their graveyard. Yeah, overwhelmed apprentice. Yeah, overwhelmed apprentice is just too weak of a card. I'm not. I'm not playing that card at all. Um, you could play didn't say please instead of sabotage, but I I think that scry one is more valuable than mill three. With With the mill three only helping out my two copies of Drown in the Lock. Like, I'm only playing two of these. May seem like more. Um, <laughs> since we have both of them in our hand, but we only got two of them. They just don't quite have enough cards in the graveyard. They need one more. I fight with a dragon's rage. Come to me. So now they have four cards in the graveyard, so now we can counter Fires of Invention. 
Hey, Anna Tran, thanks for continuing the gifted sub that you got before. I appreciate that. We'll mark that down towards the sub goal. Um, yeah, I mean, I think I just let that happen. We have the Black Lance Paragon that gets to attack that. I have just the trick for this. That was definitely the card I wanted to see the least. Um, instant speed removal. They gotta be difficult. I still have much to learn. All right, so they got four cards. I got four cards. So we're tied up there. I wouldn't mind having that land, but... I don't want to, like, flood out. I wouldn't mind, like, drawing one land, but I don't really want to draw two lands or three lands. So I'm just going to ditch that land. Because there's probably another one in the deck that we'll be drawing in the next couple of turns. <laughs> Ashiok plus Drown in the Lock. It's a good combo. I'm afraid of that. I was afraid of that with countering the other fires of invention that maybe they just have another one. This wasn't Real bad turn for me, though. I thought we were going to have this one earlier. I thought we had a, a real solid hand that was going to get us this one earlier, but... Um, opponents has also had a very solid hand.
I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go with Terramander or Cutthroat here. They can still play another spell. It's not like... They can still play instant speed as long as it's their turn. I mean, that's what the the drowns basically were negates. Basically, that's a great card for my opponent to have. Drawn really well. Thanks, Frisky Biscuits. So, now if they want to go Fire's Fae, like, they can't just do Fire's Fae, because that, that takes up both of their turns, both of their cards for this turn. Ah, of course they have a time wipe. Why not? Okay, so we need to just top deck removal. We need to draw a removal spell. That's all we gotta do. Top deck removal. We have this turn to do it. Removal. Nope. Now playing white celebration is GG. For most of that game, I thought they were going to be winning, but they they really didn't stop having very good cards.
Like that instant speed justice strike, even. They never let up, they just always had really good cards. You know, through turn, you know, 15 or whatever that was. Um, give this a try. I don't have a threat, but my opponent's already on a mulligan. <clears throat> We're on the draw again. I mean, very good chance that if we just win the die rolls, we're 2-0, not 0-2. Very good chance. Good draw. Okay. So I thought this may be like a Demir control deck. Now I know it looks like it's Arclight Phoenix. Could have played the cutthroat the previous turn. But I, I don't hate where we're at. You know, we'll just bounce the Phoenix back to their hand. During combat here. This thing gives them a, another card to discard the Phoenix to, though. So I'll just take a hit. really concerned about anything they're going to resolve here besides like unsummon there's not there's not really better cards to counter than like discovery like discovery you know surveils two and then draws like that's like that mission briefing it's like what the deck is what their deck is built on like those are the cards to counter
So I like where we're at. Having all these counter spells in hand. Even if it looks like Quench isn't really going to help out anymore. You never know. Maybe it will. Yeah, hate how hey, oh, this bubble thing just always pops up. That thing's definitely not resolving. Let's go with... I mean, I guess we go Drown in the Lock. So that we can have Black... Oh, no, because then I don't... I can't have Black Lance Paragon anyway. Um... Got a lot of lands over there, but it doesn't seem like they have like three spells to be able to get Phoenix back right now. We know about the maximize altitude. All right. We're about to put Tails End into our hand. Counter the Phoenix trigger. Or even the, the Drowned Squeakrits trigger. Um, we're somewhere in Platinum. Because, you know, they just reset at the beginning of the month here. We just played yesterday and today uh, for rank. So we haven't gotten to the next rank yet. We're, I'm somewhere in Platinum. I don't know what exact rank. Word. Platinum 2. Means too cool for school. Are we just 0 for 4 on... <laughs> 0 for 4 on die rolls? Guess so. Discovery. We just played against Discovery. All right, kept both on top. Hey, Rogvel. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub there. I appreciate that. That's our 10th sub of the day. Got that sub goal. Not Amoeba. So it looks like we're playing the same deck that we just played against. Amoeba can get on in there. I don't need to Amoeba -ly deal with that. I know, were you jelly of that pun? Oh, this is the same opponent? All right, so we just hit a sub goal. So we're gonna mark that down. So Secret Keeper is just mill four. It's not like draw. I'm going to let that resolve.
So we gotta go over to our sub goals. It's unfortunate. So we've hit six sub goals now out of 20 towards our next 12 hour stream. So almost a third of the way there. We're picking it up. That's too early of a block for that Narcomoeba. Brianborn Cutthroat's just going to get bigger. They need to be taking the three there, and... I mean, honestly, they should be attacking. Like, the Narcomoeba should have attacked. Of course, they can ditch Phoenix again to Radical Idea. Azado, what's up? Thanks for the sub there. Question is, does Teamer Walkers work in a best of one? Yeah, it would. I would recommend playing... Um, I'd recommend playing the Flame Sweeps in the main deck. Though, if you're going best of one with that deck. Basically, do like the sideboard plan for aggro. And kind of do that for... Uh, just go with that, basically. Um, so, I'd probably just not play the Paradise Druids. And play the Flame Sweeps instead. Yeah, Phoenix just comes in from the graveyard. They cast three spells. They cast um, the Secret Keeper and Opt and Opt. Casting those three spells together. Brings the Phoenix in. Just mills four. Yeah, I really don't want another Phoenix. Like the one Phoenix I can I can handle, a second Phoenix would be a huge annoyance. So you know that the mill four just takes out ten percent of the library. I really don't want that to happen. Yeah, we're playing against the same opponent. I, mean, I guess I could have attacked and put the Phoenix in the graveyard. I should have just attacked. I don't. <laughs> just kind of hit that that pass too fast. I mean, I, I was planning on bouncing the Phoenix again, but yeah, I should have just put it in the graveyard if they're gonna block. I, there's no reason not to attack here. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. That 100% should have been an attack. I just kind of played the Terramander and then clicked the wrong thing. Get rid of the turn.
that's so good. It's likely going to just unsummon uh, the cutthroat. So even if I would have, um, even if I would have attacked last turn and they just blocked with Phoenix, they would have got the Phoenix back immediately. So it, you know, didn't make a difference, but it. It should absolutely be an attack on my part, though. No. Oh, that's the best card. No, they found Drowned Secrets. This looks bad for me. Another Phoenix in hand. Very bad for me. I'm assuming they can't play two more spells, though, here. Two more instants and sorceries, that is. That's a good one. That'll help prevent them from casting three spells in a turn. Hoping they just, you know, drawn a land or two here. Good. They just gotta find a one mana spell. Just keep both on top. like the best one mana spell. All right, so now there's two phoenixes to deal with. A little surprised by that attack, to be honest. Cutthroat's a merfolk pirate. Not a knight. So we couldn't, couldn't go like Black Lance Paragon, make that uh, death touch.
Hmm. Man, it's also just magic, real smoif. I mean, you know, it sounds like you know the best of one. Like your opponents have had a lot better. Uh, hands than you have so far. No, I don't have an undergrowth deck. So it's just one spell. Shuffle your graveyard into your library. So this should be ours. Unless they have like an unsummon again. Tune two. Looks like we can definitively say that our deck is good against the Flash deck. I think that's pretty safe to say there. Or not, not against the Flash deck. Where are the Flash decks? Sorry, against the uh, Dredge deck. <laughs> You were still stuck on the Dimmer thing when you were saying Demir. <laughs> yeah, I meant Demir. <laughs> I just made a little pun there. I'm sorry. Yeah, Demir is the name of the color. Um, so many tap lands. This Murderous Rider doesn't do anything. We're on the draw again. We're... Five matches in a row as being on the draw. We're keeping. The question is what to put back. Could be Drown. Well, we're, we're on our way to get three wins here. But I need to go one and one and two in the last three matches. That's not too difficult to go one and two. Yeah, Drown, Drown does get turned on by the other counters, but if we... If we get rid of one of the other counters, then it's harder to turn on Drown, right? Because then we'll have, like, one less card to turn on Drown, because I wanted to keep the two creatures. Jeez, just relax, opponent. So much more difficult on the draw. They gotta be just sitting on removal over there. So why doesn't wizards use restriction? more often instead of going straight to banning cards. I 
I think it's for a... I'm not exactly sure. I, what I believe is... Is it's... It makes it kind of difficult... To, I would think it... Alright, so... I've heard that it kind of makes it difficult to um, police, like if, if you have, you know, if you can only have two of a card or three of a card or or anything like that, or one of a card in a deck. Um, makes it harder to, like in, you know, for paper, makes it harder to determine if they actually have that many of that card in their deck. But I don't know why that would be any different than, like, a four of. I don't know why that would be special. Anyway, another reason, though, is... Is it does kind of make for some really feel-bad games. You know, like, imagine... Alright, so let's imagine you can have one Oko in your deck. Right, like you can just have one Oko. You can't have four, you can have one. Well, the turn the game that your opponent has, like they're you know, they're gonna play like their whatever food deck. And, you know, sometimes like they're just gonna have turn one Gilded Goose, turn two Oko, and you're gonna lose. And that's gonna be so much more infuriating because you'll you're just gonna complain of man, they're so lucky they got their one Oko, that's all they can have, and they they're playing it on turn two. That kind of sounds like a miserable experience. Uh, that's not good for me. And I think that's like the main thing. I mean, that's just kind of my guess is that it could be even like some some pretty bad feel bads. They don't want to. have going on. Quench, why do you do nothing? Finality was rough. Obviously, I, I completely regret doing the whole attack and then not having the Tyrant Scorn to pick up my creature anymore. Obviously, I regret that. Hey, we actually got to quench something. Wait, why didn't it... it didn't let me just cast Murderous Rider? Okay. I guess I, I must have been auto passing the turn some for some reason.
I mean, restricting field of the dead is is that's like the kind of card that they they'll still be able to just you'll still be able to like find that all the time with Golos. So it wouldn't really change games too much with restricting field. I mean, obviously they wouldn't have like tons and tons of fields, but it's the kind of card that's it's real easy to go grab. You have a demonic tutor creature that goes and puts it into play for you. All right, so we're in a top deck mode, but we got our castles to help us out. I can't really afford to... Can't really afford to use the Black Castle, though. Blacklands Paragons are very good against Questing Beast. there. Yeah, I could have saved my 2-3 by casting my Swift End, but I think that it was better just to save Swift End for a bigger threat. But I, I kind of liked just getting those things off the battlefield, gaining the 2 life, going to 5, being able to just kind of reset and um, not have to worry about um, them having like the removal for my 2-3 and then and killing me. Rochin, what's up? All the pets are doing good. Um, Our guy's up on the bed. Just taking a nap. But yeah, everything's going good. He's been down here and said hi a couple of times. What did we say before? I'm at I'm at Diamond Two right now. My opponent's at Diamond Eighty Five. I got a long ways to go before I get to Diamond Eighty Five. This looks like Simic Flash. Hmm, never mind. Now it looks like Teamer Reclamation. Oh, we're at Platinum 2. Yeah, so, oh man, going from Platinum 2 to Diamond 85, that's got to be a long ways away. All right, down to 15. They have a million cards.
Because this just counters the Bone Crusher Giant. Do you think, given the person on the draw, Scry 1 would help? Oh man, we are, we're 0 for 6 on being on the play now, aren't we? Alright, I'm shuffling this. Um, no, not necessarily. I don't know. That's, that's not bad. I, I don't think that magic you could really do like a, a coin thing, like you just get a, a lotus petal. Don't think that's what you really want to do. I think there's too many ways to kind of abuse that in magic. Morale's outburst is good. <laughs> Just let both players play turn one simultaneously. There you go. Gonna kill stuff. All right. So what if I if I play everything out? I can put them down to one. If I just play my creatures, then they block. Yeah, yeah, Nivmez is broken. If I just play my creatures out, I just die. <clears throat> Speaking of Hawkeye, here he is. Okay. Best kitty.
Oh no. Why does there need to be a second wilderness reclamation? A second reclamation? I was hoping they were going to just like, you know, play that, realize that it resolves really fast and I don't have a counter spell and go like Chemister's Insight with the other four and then I bounce and the game's over. Second reclamation. Boo. So they have nine mana. <laughs> Just hey, spend four spend four mana to gain nine that turn, plus an additional nine plus every single future turn. Hey, thank you so much there, Fire. Thanks for co continuing your gifted sub. That's awesome. Thank you very much. No, Kiki Jiki, I'm not. So can they survive with nine mana here? Nine mana, four cards. You know, of course they're, you know, debating on, on if to use insight. Okay, they have that insight. They need to be able to deal with one of these two creatures plus Terramander. All right, can't do it. Awesome, four and two. Maybe we'll go 5-2 here, and and then I'll go back up. You know, it'll be like 6 5 four, five, six. You know, like maybe it's just like, maybe that's how, that's what will happen here. Yeah, it's, we're going to try to go back up here. Oh, you're welcome, Fire. Saying your, your streams were what made me come and try playing Arena after a lot of time since I played Magic. And I've had a lovely time, so thanks. That's awesome. So glad to hear. Um... I guess we're just going to go turn one Terry, turn two Cutthroat. Oh, wow, we're on the play. This is the first of seven games of us being on the play. Me having the shock land. Hmm. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's. Just really daunting trying to, you know, get back into Magic Online and then figure out Pioneer and all that kind of stuff. There's there's still just so much stuff to do um, on Arena. I just prefer just to stay here on Arena. Gosh, this can't be a good block for me, can it? Shepard's just going to do a lot of damage over time. I got to back up Terry.
<laughs> Two. Yeah, I get to play Corsair again. But. Get more spells in my opponent's graveyard here. Uh, does this. This doesn't actually counter the thing, right? Yeah, that counts as a three mana spell. Oh, that life could be pretty important. So, yeah, that, that life is gonna like save my opponent here. Cause I was gonna have I was gonna have eight before that. That that blossoming sands was perfect. Wow. Wow. Because I can't kill Questing Bees. Questing Bees cost four mana. They only had two cards in the graveyard. Yeah, the Drown in the Lock was pretty bad. Well, my only hope is to not have that. Ganaris, is it Drake's deck for tomorrow? The first deck? All right. I can do, is it Drake's? Not a problem. You better be blocking. Are you kidding me? You're not blocking? Oh, because I need to adapt it first and then block? And I didn't adapt it first? Uh, I was trying to... Hawkeye, did your tail hit the space bar? I don't know what's going on there. I think I clicked too many times and I didn't adapt it fast enough. I think. Um, okay, what are you typing here? Okay, I was on this, he was on the keyboard somehow. <laughs> oh, well, that looked pretty bad for us anyway.
Okay, so that's a Demir Flash. You know, different version of a Flash deck there. Um, it played pretty well. Like, so we we started off 0-2, and, and both of those those first two losses really felt like if we were on the play, we, we could have won. Um, the only time we were actually on a play, on the play, was that very last game. But Drown in the Lock was just horrendous for us that last game. How we couldn't get rid of the Questing Beast, you know, so it was like a removal spell that they couldn't remove anything. Like it, because they just had the two cards in the, the two cards in the graveyard, so we couldn't counter, we couldn't counter their, um, their chop down on my cutthroat and then i couldn't kill the questing you know that was three mana i couldn't kill the questing beast either like the drown in the lock needed to be like a spell that actually they could actually interact somehow whether it was you know a negate or an essence scatter or some kind of removal spell it, it was just unfortunately uh pretty bad there um but yeah so you know, we went 4-3. Definitely felt like a real competitive deck. And again, like being on the draw all the time hurts. Um, but it's just a, another version of Flash. Like, I just think that, like, the blue tempo stuff is pretty good in best of one. Best of three, this deck would would kind of struggle with all the Vela Summers running around. I think that would be a huge problem for best of three with this deck. Um, but, oh well. Um, oh yeah. Yeah, best of one is very heavily favored for being on the play for sure. Yep. Definitely. That's best of one. All right. Anyway, uh, so if you're watching the video on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Hit both of those. I would appreciate that. Also leave some comments. Let me know what you thought of the deck and all that kind of stuff. I always like seeing the comments over on YouTube. Um, also you can check out the Patreon page where I put up a huge post today, um, about, um, analyzing the results from uh, GP Leon this past weekend, the standard GP. Um, and I'm going to continue to do my written content over there. So if you like the stream or the YouTube videos and want to help support it for just three bucks a month, hope you check out Patreon over there. All right, but thanks so much for watching some Demir Flash, and I'll see you for the next video.